Hey lovebugs, this is Riles, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today, this afternoon, this evening, or this night, whenever you choose to see this. I hope you're doing blessed and highly favored, and I, I, for me, I'm doing the same and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and drop me a line or two if you want to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and express your opinion or even express, you know, a situation that you might have been through or that you might even relate to, it will greatly be appreciated. I love to get the positive feedback, and I always make sure I return my comments. And thank you once again for coming by my channel. And for my returning subs, as always, much love and light to you. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Heokas and Trust. Today I'm listening to the meditation of 528 hertz. Calm down anxiety, stop inner conflict, over, overthinking and worry. Let go of any destructive energy. Love bugs, this, oh my gosh, it's like so... Listening to this makes me so peaceful. Like, I've been in such a good mood today. I don't know if you might be able to, I mean, it's so, it feels so good. I, hopefully, I can, I'm sending it straight through the screen while you're watching this as we speak. So, I mean, it's just really been a good day, even though it just sucks when you have to fight with your ego every day. I don't know if you have issues with that even if you have a good day it always seems like that ego is like that one person that Debbie down or like you could be having a good day and it's always that one person that gotta bring out some negative stuff to where they really just want to mess with you but it's like lately since I've really been reflecting and looking at the things that I've been through for the last few weeks or the last few years or months or whatever and I try to reach out to myself and give myself you know that that pep talk like you know what I know this must have been some messed up stuff to go through and it, it was it was just like more memories and more memories came back and it was just like sometimes to me when I can look at my dad's picture and I see so much, you know, even when I look in the mirror, sometimes I stare in the mirror for a long time because it feels surreal to me. And sometimes it doesn't seem real like, it. am I really his daughter? Is this, you know, is this true? And then when I look at my DNA papers, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's true. You know, and it, it, it just seems like, you know, going through so much is like people that adopted you. You know that you know, I I feel like let me see how I can say this. Um, I feel like when people have given up their children for adoption, they want to be able to do the best for them because they know they couldn't provide for them in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like when I can sit there and realize, you know what, you have really good through a lot and it is sometimes hard to trust people because you feel like if your family the only people you have ever known have lied and altered your life in such a way where I, I mean I, I wouldn't want anybody to fathom <laughs> what the fact is that, that my mind had processed all, everything that happened throughout the time and there's more stuff that keeps coming out more and more stuff and I have to make peace with it I have to really 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 make peace with it and it's just like I don't know if it's just being a Hayoka or just an indigo or a twin flame or anything like that you know, it took a lot to have to process this and be able to let go. Because even sometimes I can, it, it can come up and 
I just let it go like a balloon. You know, and I was just watching Infinite Waters yesterday when he says when there's a law of attraction and you're thinking about the people that has hurt you, really pissed you off. You give them five seconds of them being famous in your head. I'm used, just using my terms. I don't like, I don't want to be acting like I'm plagiarizing somebody. So basically, you let them be famous in your head. And then that after that five seconds is up, you let them go. But then five minutes, you give a certain someone that brings so much joy to your life, that gives you purpose, so, you know, even if it's yourself. Think about everything that has made you happy, or if it's a special someone that made you happy. Think about that. And that's laws of attraction. But it was just, you know, I'm not just wanting to talk about trust today. It's just everything that, you know, when I get my feelings and I feel like the spirit guys tell me, um, you know, this is what you need to talk about. This is what you need to say. So I go ahead and say it. So, um, you know, going through a lot of things, you know, it really, it, it was like a real bad shock to me where I thought I was going to snap. I was going to lose my mind. But, you know, I just kept hearing, you know, my mom, my grandmother. My grandmother, I never met. You know, she told me I see a lot of you in me. And I see you have the strength that you're not even aware of. And you made it through so much. You know, and I, you know, my friends, you know, used to laugh at me when I say I felt like I was doomed from the womb. You know, as soon as I came out, you know, there was a big scuffle. You know, it, it's like I've been fighting a war ever since I was a child and didn't know why. So making these videos, it, it's just really been like, it, it hasn't even felt like a challenge to me. The only time it's like a challenge is if I feel like I have a brain fart and I don't know what if I want to talk about today, but it always seems to come in right when I least expect it. But going through all this, you know, going through childhood trauma, going through so much abuse, it, it really, I was just like, gosh, how can you trust anybody after that? You know, your family, you know, altered your, your life. You know, you're having to re redefine your own self. And I love what I'm, you know, I'm rebuilding. So, I mean, that's kudos to them. They did that. So now it's just like, you know, I can see if it's just a person that just wants to be fake about something and that's different. But when somebody has actually altered your life to mold you the way they wanted you to be and be naive to what they wanted you to know to a certain extent. You know, now it's like me redefining myself. And it's me opening up and trying to learn to trust people again. Because after all that, because it's just like when I make my videos, I tell you, I tell you exactly what I want you to know. It's not like I'm being deceptive or anything, but there's certain things that I left in my book that I talk about in my book that I don't talk about in my videos and vice versa. So there's more things that I would like you to know there. You know what I'm saying? So then when you see my videos and you're like, Dag, I really, I can't wait to see what she's talking about in this book. Because right there, it, it is like, I, I forewarn you, it has no filter. I don't hide anything. I, it's not a tell-all book, but it's tell what you need to know. You know, I don't tell my whole life because everything is not really important. It's just the things that were significant that had stuff to, to do with him and how it was went about. So, um, it's just, I'm just wondering if, you know, if, if you ever been through so much abuse, has it been hard for you to open up to people? Because I know if there, if people start acting shifty and I just, <laughs> things don't start adding up to me and it's just me saying one thing and doing another, I start investigating. You know, hey, let's do that. We'll start going in and try to prop die and trying to figure out why, when, and where, and why you acting like this. And why does that eye twitch every time you say something? You know, we just go investigate stuff. So, and I'm just wondering, how were you able to deal with that? You know, I know with me, I always have to make sure since it was just so much that I, I felt like I had lost on at a time. But I just really feel like, you know, everything I lost, I know I lost for a reason. 
but I can't dwell on the fact of what I lost. All I know is that God took them away for a certain reason to go ahead and bless me with something more bigger. So when you're going through something and then you can go through something so tremendous, it's just so hard. And you know, you don't want to block yourself when it comes to trust because I had to tell myself that. If there's going to be some people that are going to come across and you can miss out on a really good friendship or a really good relationship because you allowed that last person to take that power away to keep you on being lonely. So you can't sit up here and think about if it was your mother, your father, your ex-wife, or your ex-husband, or your ex-girlfriend, or your ex-boyfriend has really did some detrimental things to you until it got to that point where it made you bitter. And I have been at that point. You know, the person I dealt with was almost close, you know, 20, almost 21, 20 years. That's a long time to deal with somebody. And he has... You know, even though I went through so many narcissistic things with him, I've always told him he was a blessing to me because there are so many things that he has opened my eyes up to for me to know that no other man will ever put me in a situation like that. I will never let anybody get that close to me to where when I feel vulnerable, will go ahead and do something like that to me. So I always tell him he's a blessing to me. So when you're going through something and people put you through stuff like that, and it could be really bad, and you know I can't even imagine I don't want to because I know I'm going through my own situation. So I already know it's a hard pill to swallow just to even admit that you go through something like that. Because it's just like when you deal with people like that, they will put the blame on you and make it seem like you're crazy or you're reading into things or you're being paranoid. But it makes you hard. It makes it hard for you to trust. And it's just like with me, you know, I had to find out it was like a, you know, a car wreck. You're watching a car wreck happening and you just cannot stop it whatsoever because nobody's not seeing it and so it's just like when I tell you my story it's not about getting pity or wanting anybody to feel sorry for me it's just to let you know I had to go through so much but I had to let go of it and I mean you know I'm letting go of it but that you know I'm almost done with this race I'm almost done and I feel so good with it because it makes me feel so much at peace because I took my power back because I can't sit up here and be mad with them about what they did even though they did some really you know damaging stuff you know I, I didn't get a chance to meet my father but I know that God has something far much more greater for me you know, my dad's always here with me. He's always has been here for me. You know, I just never knew, you know, these feelings were always felt like I was being watched, you know, when I told my ex, you know, and I, you know, I didn't care if I was crazy or not, but he knew he was there when I used to have these panic attacks and when somebody's touching me in my shower or, you know, I feel like when I'm asleep, there's somebody watching over me and I feel somebody touching me and I really get upset. And, you know, there was one time, I, you know, I hear my dad talking to me in my ear and I'm just like, wait a minute. Is this, have this been you all these years? Because I had to take anxiety medicine for this. He's like, I'm sorry. Yes, it was. And I'm just like, wow, okay. This would explain all these issues. So I'm just wondering, is it really hard for you to open up and trust people after you've been through something so tragic? And I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. I know so I went talking over 10 minutes again. So, but um, I hope everybody has a blessed day. And I will talk to you on my next video. Keep me in my prayers. Keep you in your prayers. And I will definitely keep you in mind. And like and subscribe. Even hit the notification bell. And I will talk to you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.